Hi, welcome to another video. My name is Silson. Today I bring you my March reads video and my April goals. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hand. I'm sorry. So basically what I'm going to be doing is telling you about the books that I read in the month of March. Uh, this is sort of like a wrap up, but not really called a wrap up. I don't like the word wrap up. So we're going to start saying the word wrap up. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you straight what I read in the, in the month of March and what I'm planning hoping to read in the month in the month of April. Um, it's a very, I have the books over there, so it's a very hefty sort of TBR, but not really a TBR, because like, I just kind of want to talk about the books that I read, I mean, that I'm planning to read, or that I think I want to read in the month. So yeah, so I'm going to tell you what I read in the month of March. Okay, I'm excited because I love these books. Okay, so the first book that I read in the month of March is actually a Court with Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. If you have not read this, what are you doing with your life? Go read it right now. So this book is uh, basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling and with Face. Sorry, that's just an important thing. I love Face, okay? So with Face and I really, really enjoyed it. This is the second time around I read it. Uh, the first time I read it was back in 2015. So I have not reread re this in a while. So I reread it. I reread it as part of a read along that Kevin from Irish Reader was hosting, and I this is second time around. I tapped it and I wrote on it, and it was amazing. Like I had the time of my life reading this. I'm gonna actually did vlog it, so I'm gonna leave the link somewhere in the. I have no idea where I'm pointing at, but it's there, or I'm gonna leave it down below the link. This is basically one of my favorite books of like ever, I enjoyed it so much the second time around. I had forgotten how much I have missed these characters and their banters and the world itself. It's just, it's just so pretty. Like all of this, all the world here is very pretty. And I really enjoy the characters, especially Lucian. If you have read this book, if you have not, you need to read it so you can meet him. And yeah, that's basically it. So if you want to know more of my thoughts throughout reading this book, uh, watch my reading vlog. Everything's there. Seriously, everything's there. The next book that I decided to read was a book that I wasn't sure if I was actually going to read, but I did say on my previous video, well, on one of my April, I mean, March goals, was that I wanted to read this book. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna happen, and it did happen. Am I happy it did happen? Yes. Did I suffer? Yes. The book is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas, or House of Earth and Blood. This book is huge. This book is about 800 pages or more. And I really, really, really enjoy this book. Now, there's a lot of hype going around this. This is uh, an adult urban fantasy story by Sarah J Maas. This is her first adult book. And I'm really happy to say that I think I have enjoyed more of, her, of like more of her adult stuff than her new adult, young adult stuff. Because, well, I have not finished the Throne of Glass series. But I really enjoy this so much. The characters, the world, like the first pa few pages are very hard to get into because it's just kind of like a war vomit of the whole world and you're just like, whoa, hold on, what is happening? But after that, you start getting the idea and there you go. So basically, um, I'm going to try to tell you what the, this book is about. So. Let's see. This book follows our main character who is Bryce and she is half fae, half human. So she has her best friend Danica, they do everything together and something goes absolutely wrong in this world and it kind of some it kind of follows Bryce's journey for her to find out what happens during this Thing. That's basically what I'm going to tell you because honestly, I went into this not knowing exactly what it was about. I just really got it because it's Sarah J Maas and it's an adult book and it's urban fantasy and all of the all everything supernatural you can find it in this damn book and I loved it. That's basically what I'm going to tell you. This is a five out of star reads on Goodreads, on everything. It's just It's just amazing. I still don't know if it's going to be my favorite thing I read in the entire year because it's we're still early in the year, but this is one, definitely one of my favorites. I I don't know. I just really enjoyed it and loved it. Uh, I cried multiple times reading this. If you know, you know. And yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to tell you really. Like, just go pick it up. Go pick it up and read it. Because I think a lot of people have 
really, really thoroughly enjoy this, even though it's fucking huge. But it's amazing, so go read. The next book that I read in the month of March is actually something that I finished last night. I actually was listening to the audiobook and it's the first book that, is, that I actually read in audiobook form that is not a memoir. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really happy that I did. I, I, I wanted to give it a try because I know audiobooks is a big thing now and I am happy that I did it. So that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McKinston. I have finally read this book and if I'm not mistaken, I said in my previous video that I really want to read this and I am really happy that I said that because I already finished and I really enjoyed it. I was, I finished, I think, today at two in the morning reading this and I loved it. I have no clue how I have missed out on this book last year. I am so happy that I read it now. I loved it. This was adorable. It was cute. It was hot. Now I understand why Kevin put it on the fridge several times, but I just love the characters. Wow. Like Alex is my favorite character in this. Henry too, but Alex, my God, like I loved it so much. And I love the fact that he's half Mexican because I'm Mexican. And I love that there was some Spanish thrown in there, some like um, Mexican references to food and there was Spanish involved and it was just so, it just felt really nice. So I really, really enjoyed this book. If you do not follow this or you don't, well, not follow, but if you have not heard about this book, which you probably have already, this book follows basically Alex and Henry's story. They're kind of like friends to enemies um, sort of thing to lovers. Um, and I really, really, really enjoyed it so, so much. So if you have not picked this up, you should. But I think most of the people now have read this because this was a very popular book last year, which I had not read back then. Now I have, so yeah, so I loved it. So those are all the three books that I read in the month of March, but my goals, my so my goal is for April, hopefully, is to read more books. <laughs> so for the month of April, I'm trying to hit or to read three books that I'm going to tell you right now for sure. And maybe if I get to read more, that's just like a plus for me. Okay, so in the month of March, I read A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I really want to reread the whole series now for some reason. So I'm trying, planning for April to read A Court in Mist and Fury by my Sarah J Maas. And this is the sequel to A Court, a Court in Thorns and Roses. Damn, that's a long title. So I'm really, really happy that I read A Court in Thorns and Roses. So now I really wanna read A Court in Mist and Fury to see if I still love it, which I'm pretty sure I will. But uh, yeah, I, I wanna read it. I wanna reread it. I wanna follow these characters again. I want to know if I still love Reese. I want to know how I feel about Farah and Tamling, even though I'm pretty sure I'm really set on how I feel about Tamling and Farah together. But I'm really excited to read this. I cannot tell you what this book is about because it's the, the follow-up to Akatar or Corn Thorns of Roses. And yeah, so I'm planning to read this, hopefully. I think this is going to be my next week, to be honest. So. Let's see. The next books that I'm going to show you is actually part of the same universe series. Yes. I don't know. I don't know why I keep talking with my hands. I'm sorry. So I'm planning to read The Stories of a Ghost of a Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and other authors. Mostly because I, if I read this, I'm going to be able to read A Chain of Gold. Now, I know I'm a little behind on these, but I really, really want to read <laughs> Chain of Gold, I want to know about these characters. A lot of people have said that they cried and I'm kind of scared for my life now because if I cried with Crescent City and then this, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm really excited to read these two books in the month of April. So I'm going to go on vacation soon, even though I know right now with everything that's happening right now, we are not really allowed to go out, but I'm still working from home. So it's a, it's a bit hectic and hard. So hopefully this month I'm going to be able to read more. That's why I'm saying I'm hoping to read more. But these are basically the books that I really want to read in the month of April. Hopefully I read this fast and then I can get into this. 
So, yeah. So basically those are really all the books that I want to read in the month of April, as in like my goals. If I read more than that, I'll be really, really happy about that. But for right now, I feel like if I set myself small goals, I think I can accomplish them. Because let's face it, if you, if I do a, a set TBR, I know I'm not gonna follow it. But if I kind of set my goal to one or two books that I really wanna read, I know I'm gonna do it. I know I said three, but the other one is a, it's a bind up of novellas and I think I can read one every other day or so, so it's fine. So yeah, that's basically it. So. I don't know what else to tell you. Those are the books that I've read. Those are the books that I'm planning to read. And so tell me down below, what are some of the books that you are planning to read in the month of April? What did you read in the month of March? And if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this video, please let me know so we can talk about it and discuss them and maybe cry and fangirl or something. I have no idea, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Thank you.